Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. So we start on the 24 hour temperature cast. We're up near 70 normal morning lows for this time of year. It should be like 46, 47. So way warmer than normal again. It's been what we've been doing for the past several weeks. And I think again, those top temperatures can get up there and flirt with records way up into the middle, even upper 80s. And one more night, we're probably going to keep those temperatures way up in the 60s to near 70 before hopefully slightly less warm air filters in and maybe slightly drier air. So maybe it'll make it feel a little bit more like March instead of May. Maybe I don't see a lot going on across the southeast. Not right now, and I don't expect we're going to find an awful lot going on. So we're still pretty quiet with the weather. I'm going to keep the rain chances really, 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 really small. We'll expect some fog, especially if the breeze doesn't perk up at least a little bit in Tallahassee. There's a little breeze out of the west at five miles per hour. Not much of a breeze in most other areas, and we do have plenty of available moisture, so we've got to be on the lookout for some of that fog. 68 degrees for us in Thomasville and in Valdosta. There's that 70 in Tallahassee and 70 is actually a really popular number. Tallahassee and Quincy and Bainbridge and Camilla and Blakely all at 70 degrees this morning. Now I do think a little breeze from the west today going to try real hard to stir things up so maybe we don't get the widespread thick fog out there. But some of our spots along the I-75 corridor, that's where the fog is a little thick, especially early this morning. Usually we see the fog get thicker by 630 and 7 and 730 and 8 o'clock this morning. So we'll certainly be keeping an eye out for our eastern areas. Now the overall weather pattern not changing a whole lot. We still have that big ridge of high pressure to our south and to our east. Now it looks like that high slowly wants to keep sagging a little bit more south, opening the door for this next boundary, the leading edge of some slightly cooler and drier air to sort of sneak on in from the north and even in the northeast. Now if that's the case, then we clear up a little bit, we dry out a little bit, and maybe we get our small changes to bring our temperatures a little bit closer to where they're supposed to be this time of the year. We'll keep our eyes on this energy, see what it's able to do over the next couple of days. Might see a little bit more of an increase in clouds by, say, Thursday, Friday, and maybe even a better shot for some showers by then. But there's still a lot of maybes to go with this forecast, so we'll take it day by day and see how it all breaks down for us. More fog on the Gulf, otherwise pretty good conditions once we get to the afternoon. The winds generally less than 12 knots and the seas less than two feet. Most of us this morning are going to be close to 70. Some of the cooler spots mid 60s. It's warm to get started. Sun will be up at 657 by the way. This afternoon, I still think we're looking at middle to upper 80s. 86, 87 seems about the ballpark we're going to be in. Though if the clouds are a little bit more stubborn, maybe we can slow those temperatures down a little bit. I still think we're going to be flirting with records again this afternoon. Tonight is more mid 60s more clouds and some of that patchy fog sunset time 640. Now that weak boundary droops through the area tomorrow. If it does, well, how about that daytime highs that want to stay in the 70s for a change, which is a lot closer to where they're supposed to be this time of the year. And I think we could find some morning temperatures that dip a little bit too. I'm going to watch and see how things play out with that piece of energy, that area of low pressure, because it's starting to feel like that might be able to give us a decent round of showers on Friday. Another one of those might be's in this forecast. I'd like it to be a little bit more certain, but we've got a couple of days to work on that. And speaking of a couple of days, yeah, reminder number 342 this week. This is the weekend where we spring forward. Don't forget.